Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Dr. El Sayed. I'm a radiology consultant working in the UK. In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is and actually how less painful it is to do ultrasound guided injection of the shoulder. In this video, I'm going to show you how we prepare for the medication, how we inject the medication and how we uh, position the needle in the right place to ensure that when you have this type of treatment that you get the best outcome of this injection. Don't forget that we've mentioned previously in my previous video about types of injection that you can have a blind injection. This is the ultrasound guided injection where we ensure high accuracy of putting the medication in the right place so that you get the maximum benefit out of this expensive medication. If you're new to this channel, please make sure you like, share and subscribe and hit the notification bell to get my next videos on other types of shoulder injection and also to get my future videos on shoulder exercises that you could do after having the ultrasound guided injection. Now, after washing my hand, I apply sterile gloves to make sure that this is done under complete aseptic technique as possible. Then I will start taking the medication. We usually start by taking the short acting local anesthetic, then the long acting local anesthetic. I make sure that every time I take an anesthetic, I check the date on the front and the back of the vial as you're going to uh, see me doing right there. Then the steroid, which is this small vial going to come now, this one there. Again, checking the date. I've got everything in medication now. Now check the final check on the trolley. I should have a goes to clean with, a solution to use. And now I've got my steroid, short acting anesthetic, long acting anesthetic, and I sometimes use hyaluronic acid as well. We should always use a probe cover to make sure that we don't introduce any infection. We use the correct needles that I'm gonna show you later on. And we should have a sterile gel to help me apply the uh, ultrasound probe and a plaster after the injection and sterile gloves but I use different gloves that you can see me wearing them right now. Now we apply the correct uh, size needle and prepare the whole uh, uh, area by uh, taking the gauze, dipping it into the cleaning solution that we use. We can use any solution that you have in your own clinic. Uh, and then we clean the site of injection, make sure that we cover a large area so that we don't miss uh, 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 any area without cleaning. We will make sure that we don't introduce any infection during this procedure. This is really important. So I clear, uh, uh, clean always a couple of times, uh, uh, as I'm mentioning there. and. Then I'm going to make sure that we uh, get the probe and then uh, apply the probe cover, which uh, it's uh, going to be given to me in a second now. I always ask someone to give it to me so that I don't use my hand uh, uh, touching uh, non-clean stuff. Now I'm applying the cover over the probe. Make sure it's also wiped and clean, which I'm going to do right now. And this is to ensure that everything we do is nice and clean and not, don't introduce any infection. We get then in position, so I sit in my chair, it should be comfortable when you're doing the, this procedure, so I always sit in the chair, come close to the patient, and now we kind of use the right, uh, correct uh, needle, and we apply uh, uh, the probe on the top of the shoulder, and then we gently introduce the needle there. Uh, it's usually a not painful procedure, maybe a sharp scratch, as you see that the needle goes into the skin, and then you're going to seal a bright uh, kind of structure uh, as it goes into the skin on the top left image. And you can see this needle now moving, going to this nice little small space. There's only one to two millimeter space. We rotate the needle to make sure that we uh, inject in the right direction. And then now I'm going to put the medication in. You can see stuff going inside the space and it's distending, getting bigger with this black fluid, which what the medication will look like. After we introduce the local anesthetic, we then swap the needle. And then we uh, introduce the long acting anesthetic. Uh, and then now we're gonna apply more steroid in and you can see this kind of expanding and then squashing uh, in size uh, uh, denoting that we have really uh, finished the, the injection. I hope this video has managed to answer many of the questions that you may have had in your mind about uh, ultrasound guided injection of the shoulder and I have also that this video has kind of cleared uh, exactly and described what happened exactly in the settings of the ultrasound guided injection. I hear many stories from many patients that they were reluctant to come and have the injection because of horror stories they heard from other people where they say it's really painful and they couldn't tolerate and I'm not sure why people are having this experience because as you saw from the patient I've injected today and all other patients inject the only discomfort they have is only the sharp scratch when we go in and the skin 
They may feel a bit of distension sensation, but it's not painful. I've also noticed that most of the people describe these experiences are people who's had this injection without ultrasound guided injection. So you are relying on, as we said in my previous video, an anatomical landmarks on the body, and then you direct the needle in the right place, which doesn't always go easily because as we described, it's only one or two millimeter thick place that we're aiming at. So it's a very small target and achieving accuracy uh, without ultrasound guidance doing it the blind way may cause some discomfort. So that's why I understand why some people are reluctant to come and have this. But having it with ultrasound guided injection actually make it shorter, make it more accurate and actually more effective to make sure that you maximize the effect of this medication. I hope this video was helpful. Please make sure that you like, share and subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave some comments and questions in the uh, comment box below that I can answer you in case you've got any questions. I really want to thank you for watching this video and I hope that it has uh, gave you some useful information about what happens in the radiology department while we do the ultrasound guided injection. And looking forward to be uh, talking to you all the time on this platform to educate you, to inform you about other options available for treatment of your shoulder pain. And thank you.